And we are going to start today's session with the opening prayers. Lakshmi Yeah. Hari yeah. Om children, namaste. Let us start today's Sanskriti program with the prayer as usual. Um, Vishuddha can repeat after me. Okay. Vishuddha. Yes, Amma. Om Vakratunta Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Kurume Deva Sarva Kadi Shusarvada Vakratunta Vakratunta Mahakaya Vakratunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Kurume Deva Sarva Kadi Shusarvada Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kamarupini Vidyarambam Karishyami Siddhir Bhavatumi Sada Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kamarupini Vidyarambam Karishyami Siddhir Bhavatumi Sada Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwaraha Guru Satchat Parabrahma, that's my she good away, Namaha. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Satchat Parabrahma, that's my she good away, Namaha. Thank you, Vishuddha. Today we will have story session first. Okay, so over to Hey Mama. Thank you, Lakshmi Ji and Vishuddha. Very auspicious beginning to our new year with these lovely prayers. We pray and hope for all good things to come. So today I'm going to tell you a story from Hitopadesha. Remember last week, last time we met, I told of from Panchatantra. Similarly, there is a collection of ancient fables and stories of Indian culture and origin called the Hitopadesha. Hita Upadesha. Hita is good. Upadesha is message. So stories having good messages. This is in Sanskrit text. And like the Panchatantra, it has a lot of animal characters also. Human characters in certain stories and animal characters, animals who can talk and, you know, have emotions. And ultimately, they give us a message. They're all very short stories, a compilation of short stories in Sanskrit, which is like a... a catalog of good values. Each story gives us a message, a moral and a good value. So today we are going to talk about one story from Hitopadesha, uh, set in a forest, talking about a herd of elephants and rabbits. So let me share the screen. This story is the elephant and the rabbit. So there was a herd of elephants living near in a forest near a, a lake, a lake full of water. They would happily walk to the water, have the feed full of water and due to water. There was a lot of vegetation also and they would eat their food and live happily in the forest. And they lived thus for many, many years. This forest was the heaven for all other animals too. All different animals, this was the source of life and they would come at different times. You know, they also have their set rules. They will not fight amongst each other. They would come in different times of the day, come and drink water, have their fill and go away. But slowly, after a few years, in the last a few decades due to man's intervention, due to deforestation, due to soil erosion and silting of the lake, slowly there were less rainfall and the lake starts getting dry and very less water was there. There was a, this herd of elephants. The king was Chaturdanta and this king was very worried. He said, for our size, we are such huge elephants. After a few years, this completely, this lake will become totally dry and we cannot sustain and on such 
less amount of water is okay for smaller animals. So Chatur Danta sent his messengers far and wide and told them, go and search for a better lake, a lake which has water, which will sustain for at least two, three decades for my complete herd. So his messengers went and found such a beautiful lake and the whole herd, leaded by the king Chatur Danta, they all walked in wet beautiful discipline and they are walking all the way going towards the new lake they go and they find and they're overjoyed seeing the new lake they and they saw here there was adequate water for many generations to come they could drink water and they could live in this particular area but there was a slight problem you know these heavy creatures these heavy elephants when they came as a herd hundreds of elephants together inadvertently without their knowing they started stamping on little rabbits, which were also living. A settlement of rabbit was there in that forest near the lake. And the rabbits would run helter and skelter. moment they see the elephants come, you know, from days to go back to sleep and come to the lake in the morning and the evening to drink water. At that time, many of the rabbits, by mistake, would get crushed underfoot of the elephant. Now, the rabbits, you know, uh, were in fear of their life. These elephants are um, such huge creatures. What should they do? They all had a meeting. They sat and discussed, how can we solve this problem? So what happened? One rabbit among them, very wise rabbit, the minister of rabbits, he said, I will go as a messenger. I will uh, risk it. I will go near the herd of the elephants. I will talk to the noble king. He seems to be a very wise and noble king, Chaturdanta. I will talk to him and we will find a solution for this. He goes to the king and he finds the king and he tells, Oh, great Chaturdanta, uh, I am the messenger of the moon god. I have been sent by Chandrama, moon god, to earth to talk to you. So the king says, Is that so? Why? Why do you want to? Why does the king, the god, the moon god, want to talk to me? So he says, the moon god has sent a message that he is very angry with you. So, uh, Chatur Danta gets very worried. Oh, why is the moon god angry with me? And uh, what is the proof that he is angry with me? So, this rabbit says, yeah, because you have come to this uh, particular forest. And this is actually a settlement of thousands of rabbits. And when your elephants are walking, they are trampling over the rabbits and the rabbit population is going down. So the moon, you know, and the moon has got a rabbit sitting. Have you seen that impression on the moon? Look at the sky. We are part of, we are relatives of the moon. And he's very angry that you're killing us. So you know, you must have seen, you know, when you look at the moon, sometimes the craters, they look like there's a rabbit sitting over there. So the elephant sees on top and says, yes, yes, okay, you're the relatives of moon god. But give me proof. So the rabbit says, okay, this evening we will go to the lake and we will see the moon oh. god in the reflection in the water. So he goes to the beautiful lake and sees the reflection in the water. And after some time, there's a breeze. What happens? The entire, because the ripples in the water, the moon starts looking as it is shaking with anger. You know, and the king, he gets so, Chatur Danta gets very scared. Oh my God, this God is angry with me. Seeing me, he's starting to shake in anger. So he immediately bows down to the God and tells, and we are very sorry for destroying your relatives, the rabbits. We will move away from this place or we will go to one corner where there are no rabbits and we will divide the area. So that way we will see that none of the rabbits are killed. So that, and slowly, very cleverly, the rabbit minister take, goes back to his herd and tells them from now the rabbits will not be trampling us. The king goes back and gives the messages to everybody that either we shift away from this forest or we maintain discipline of not trampling over rabbits. That way, population of rabbits also was saved. But from that day on, Chaturdanta was always scared of the moon, unfortunately. And he would always see whether the moon is shivering with rage or not. On a calm day, he would feel the moon is very happy with him. Right? When the reflection is very, very perfect and serene. So this is how the life went on in this forest. The elephants and the rabbits coexisted peacefully from that day on. So what is the moral of the story? What is the moral of the story where we saw the moon, the elephant and the rabbit the moral is, wit can win over might. If you have the intelligence, the wit is here in this 
context, the intelligence, if you have the logic, you can overcome even a huge creature like an elephant. You know, this may be not only pertaining to size. You know, here the rabbit is small and the elephant is huge. In human beings also, we may be uh, in stature or in whatever, in knowledge or uh, in the position, uh, in, a, in a rank, we may be lesser than somebody, but then we can overcome them by using our intelligence. We can overcome any big problem, whatever mighty problem is there by using our intelligence and logic and being calm like the clever little rabbit, right? So this story from Hitopadesha is teaching us to never underestimate ourselves. However small we are, we can overcome any big obstacle in life, right? So now we go over to quiz time. The first story. What is the meaning of the king's name, Chatur Danta? Unmute yourself and raise your hand. I will call you. Chatur, break the word. Chatur. Danta, who has raised the hand? Yes, you can speak. We Vaishnavi. Amma, is it uh, four teeth? Yes, it looks like two to tusk outside, maybe four the smaller teeth inside. So chatur danta, four tooth. Okay. Why did the elephant why did the elephants move away from the home? Who has raised the hand? I'm not able to see. Yes, Sai. Amma, there was a scarcity of the water in the village because huge pop, uh, popularity was mm. there the, uh, beside the river. Mm. And also human uh, were de deforestating and taking the water. Okay, okay, correct. Can you state some more reasons why lakes are drying up nowadays? Chinmay sisters, you have raised your hand. You unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, Desika. Uh, Amma, can, can you hear us? Yes, now I can hear you. Amma, because of global warming. Yes, very good. One reason is global warming. The water bodies are getting dried up. Anything else? Anybody else? Virat? Amma, um, there is a, uh, is like because of uh, more heat uh, being there, the mm. water cycle, more evaporation is happening. So, uh, there's less precipitation mm. and most of it is falling in the ocean. So, the elephants don't have any water to drink. So, they had to go to a different place. Good. That's scientifically put. Thank you. So, less precipitation means less rains in particular areas. Yes. Anybody else? Yes. Uh, who has raised the hand? We, Vaishnavi. Okay. You have raised your hand. Because we are uh, destroying the lakes by putting uh, so much of waste into it. Oh, yes, very good. When we keep dumping things, the level keeps going up. So what happens? The capacity to hold water also becomes less. So there are many, many reasons why lakes are drying up and we should think about it. How many animals are losing their homes because of this? Okay, we are not the owners of the planet Earth, are we? We are sharing the Earth with all creatures, isn't it? Yeah, next question. Was the rabbit messenger very clever? Why do you think so? If yes or no? Who has raised the hand? What do you think about this rabbit minister? The one with the specs? Yes, Kushi? Amma, uh, he was clever enough and uh, as he uh, he used his intelligence and um, made the um, made the elephants move out from that place uh, with, uh, using his intelligence but not fighting or anything. Very good. Excellent. So very peacefully he found a solution. Excellent. Thank you, Kushi. Vishruta? the rabbit messenger was clever because he uh, he uh, want, he had a plan in his mind and did not uh, and thought before he acted yes thought before he acted thank you he so th the thought made him get a solution what is the message of the story 
Anybody else who has not spoken till now? What is the message of the story? Virat, your hand is up. Yes, Virat. My well, message of the story is, um, first of all, we have to be, like, we need to uh, work smart. Uh, we have to uh, think of possible ways. We can use our intelligence to our upper hand, like the rabbit um, did to save its people. Um, we should all we should, but we should not uh, like make the other person feel bad at the same time. Very good. Okay, thank you, thank you, Virat. Very nicely put. So that that comes to the end of the story time and the quiz time, and I hand over to Sudha ji and Soumya ji. Are we doing uh, Vishnu Sahasrama first? Uh, okay, one? yes, we can do Vishnu Sahasrama, right. Uh, Lakshmi ji, we can do Vishnu Sahasrama. Actually, Vishnu I thought I will, have a, I will have a revision of uh, Gita Mahatmyam and Madhrashtakam and all that. Because okay. it will be, okay. because it must have forgotten. So today I will make them chant. Okay. Mm. So... We will have this Gita Mahatmyam and Balamukundashtakam uh, uh, and Madhurashtakam. These three and Mahalakshmi Ashtakam also. These four we have selected for the annual day. So we will have a revision two today and another two next week, maybe. No? So let us start with Gita Mahatmyam. So you can display, no, Soumya, Gita Mahatmyam. I'll uh, give me um, how you start, uh, ma'am. I will just uh, look for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, Gita Mahatme, B Vaishnavi, are you ready to repeat? Everybody can repeat in their muted state. V Vaishnavi, you can practice and you can present it on the annual day. Are you ready for that, Gita Mahatme? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, we will start. All of you can repeat in your muted place. Except we Vaishnavi. Gita Shastramidam Punyam. Gita Shastramidam Punyam. Yef Patet Prayat of Kuman. Yef Patet Prayat of Kuman. Vishno Padamavap no di. Vishno Padamavap no di. Bhaya shoka di varjita hai. Bhaya shoka di varjita hai. Gita dhyana shilasya. Gita dhyana shilasya. Sorry. Gita dhyana shilasya. Gita dhyana shilasya. Pranayama parasya cha. Pranayama parasya cha. Naiva santihi papani. Naiva santihi papani. Purva janma kritani cha. Purva janma kritani cha. Mala nirmojanam pumsam. Mala nirmojanam pumsam. Jalas nanam dine dine. Jalas nanam dine dine. Sakrit gidam basis nanam. Sakrit gidam basis nanam. Sansara malanashanam. Sansara malanashanam. Gita sugita kartavya. Gita Sugita Kartavya Kimanyai Shastra Vistaraihi Kimanyai Shastra Vistaraihi Yaswayam Patmanabhasya Yaswayam Patmanabhasya Mukha Patmad Vinishita Mukha Patmad Vinisrita Bharatamrita Sarvasvam 
विष्णोर्वक्रिश्रित विष्णोर्वक्रिश्रुत गीता गंगोदक पीवा पुनर्जन्म विद्यते पुनर्जन्म विद्यते सर्वोपनिषद गावो सर्वोपनिषद गावो दोघा गोपाल नंदन गोपाल नंदन पार्थो वत्स सुधी भोक्ता पार्थो वत्स सुधी भोक्ता दुग्ध गीतामृत महत गीतामृत महत एक शास्त्र देवकी पुत्र गीत शास्त्र देवकी पुत्र गीत एको देवो देवकी पुत्र एको देवो देवकी पुत्र एको मंत्र नाको मंत्र यानी कर्माप्येको मंत्र यानी कर्माप्येक सेवा लास्ट वंस मोर यू विल रिपीट एक शास्त्र देवकी पुत्र गीत शास्त्र देवकी पुत्र गीत एको देवो देवकी पुत्र एको देवो देवकी पुत्र एको मंत्र मंत्र कर्माप्येक सेवा Thank you, Vaishnavi. You keep practicing. On mm -hmm. annual day, you have to present this of your own. Okay. Okay. Amma. Please, one minute. All of you, keep your video on, please. It is only for one hour. Amma. Ananya, Kushi. Who else is there with video off? Ah, okay. Krishna, where are you? Today, Hasini is not present, or what? Hasini Hasni won't not. be coming today. Her mother sent a message. Okay. Today she will not be coming, okay. but she will be there for the annual day. Okay. Amma. So the Vaishnavi sisters, Chinmayi, uh, Deshika, and Vaishnavi, can you repeat Balamukundashtakam? Amma, I have a doubt. Yes. Sir. Yes. Yes, I. Amma, when is the annual day? That we have not yet decided. We will let you know. Okay. Amma, because uh, in the next two weeks I won't be there. That's yeah, yeah. You told already, no? Okay. We will decide accordingly. Okay. Now, Vaishnavi sisters, please repeat. Balamukundashtakam. We have got eight slokas. Um, if you can do three, three, and two, one by one. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Sir. Chinmayi. Okay. Yes. Sir. All the three of you. First three slokas, one girl. Another three up to six, another girl, and last two, another girl. Okay. So you can repeat. Huh? And this you have to practice and do it on annual day. Okay. Okay. Saravindi na padaravindam. मुखारेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवयेवय
ವಿನಿವೇಶಯಂತಂ 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 ಪಟಸ್ಯ ಪತ್ರಸ್ಯ ಪುಟೇಶಯಾನ ಪಟಸ್ಯ ಪತ್ರಸ್ಯ ಪುಟೇಶಯಾನ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಸಂಹೃತ್ಯ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ವಟಪತ್ರ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಸಂಹೃತ್ಯ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ವಟಪತ್ರ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಶಯಾನ ಮಾದ್ಯಂತ ವಿಹೀನ ರೂಪಂ ಶಯಾನ ಮಾದ್ಯಂತ ವಿಹೀನ ರೂಪಂ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರಂ ಸರ್ವಹಿತಾವತಾರಂ ಸರ್ವೇಶ್ವರಂ ಸರ್ವಹಿತಾವತಾರಂ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಇಂದೀವರ ಶ್ಯಾಮಳ ಕೋಮಳಾಂಗಂ ಇಂದೀವರ ಶ್ಯಾಮಳ ಕೋಮಲಾಂಗಂ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಿ ದೇವಾರ್ಚಿತ ಪಾದ ಪದ್ಮ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಿ ದೇವಾರ್ಚಿತ ಪಾದ ಪದ್ಮ ಸಂತಾನ ಕಲ್ಪಧ್ರುಮ ಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ಸಂತಾನ ಕಲ್ಪಧ್ರುಮ ಮಾಶ್ರಿತ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲಂಬಾಳಕಂ ಲಂಬಿತ ಹಾರಯಷ್ಟಿ ಲಂಬಾಲಕಂ ಲಂಹಿತ ವಿತಹಾರಯಸ್ತಿ ಶೃಂಗಾರಲೀಲಾಂಕಿತ ದಂತ ಪಂಕ್ತಿ ಶೃಂಗಾರಲೀಲಾಂಕಿತ ದಂತ ಪಂಕ್ತಿ ಬಿಂಬಾದರಂ ಚಾರು ವಿಶಾಲ ನೇತ್ರ ಬಿಂಬಾದರಂ ಚಾರು ವಿಶಾಲ ನೇತ್ರ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಶಿಕ್ಕೇ ನಿಧಾಯಾಧ್ಯ ಪಯೋದಧೀನಿ ಶಿಕ್ಕೇ ನಿಧಾಯಾಧ್ಯ ಪಯೋದಧೀನಿ ಬಹಿರ್ಗತಾಯ ವ್ರಜನಾಯಿಕಾಯ ಬಹಿರ್ಗತಾಯ ವ್ರಜನಾಯಿಕಾಯ ಭುಕ್ತ್ವಾಯತೆಷ್ಟ ಕಪಟೇನ ಸುಪ್ತ ಮುಕ್ತ ಭುಕ್ತ್ವಾಯತೆಷ್ಟ ಕಪಟೇನ ಸುಪ್ತ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಕಲಿಂದ ಜಾಂತ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಕಾಳಿಯ ಕಲಿಂದ ಜಾಂತ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಕಾಳಿಯ ಫಣಾಗ್ರರಂಗೇ ನಟನ ಪ್ರಿಯಂತ ಫಣಾಗ್ರರಂಗೇ ನಟನ ಪ್ರಿಯಂತ ಫಣಾಗ್ರರಂಗೇ ನಟನ ಪ್ರಿಯಂತ ಫಣಾಗ್ರ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಉಲೂಖಲೆ ಬದ್ಧ ಮುದಾರ ಶೌರ್ಯ ಉಲೂಖಲೆ ಬದ್ಧ ಮುದಾರ ಶೌರ್ಯ ಉತ್ತುಂಗಯುಗ್ಮಾರ್ಜುನ ಮಂಗಲೀಲ ಉತ್ತುಂಗಯುಗ್ಮಾರ್ಜುನ ಮಂಗಲೀಲ ಭಂಗ ಭಂಗಲೀಲ ಭಂಗಲೀಲ ಉತ್ಫುಲ್ಲ ಪದ್ಮಾಯತ ಚಾರು ನೇತ್ರ ಉತ್ಫುಲ್ಲ ಪದ್ಮಾಯತ ಚಾರು ನೇತ್ರ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಬಾಲಂ ಮುಕುಂದಂ ಮನಸ ಸ್ಮರಾಮಿ ಆಲೋಕ್ಯ ಮಾತುರ್ಮುಖ ಮಾದರೇಣ ಆಲೋಕ್ಯ ಮಾತುರ್ಮುಖ ಮಾದರೇಣ ಸ್ತನ್ಯಂ ಪಿಬಂಧಂ ಸರಸೀರುಹಾಕ್ಷಂ ಸ್ತನ್ಯಂ 
பிபந்தம் சரசி ருஹாக்ஷம் சச்சின்மயம் தேவமனந்தரூபம் சச்சின்மயம் தேவமனந்தரூபம் பாலம் முகுந்தம் மனசா ஸ்மராமி பாலம் முகுந்தம் மனசா ஸ்மராமி பாலம் முகுந்தம் மனசா ஸ்மராமி பாலம் முகுந்தம் மனசா ஸ்மராமி so you can interchange if you find some the three shlokas different difficult for somebody you can interchange among you okay and please keep practicing huh? i will post it in the group also okay, okay thank you okay. now over to sudha ma'am the next two shlokas we will practice next week okay for that mahalakshmi ashtakam and uh, madurashtakam that we can have hasini and vishruta next week we will practice okay over to sudama thank you ma'am first sai is going to give a presentation he is going to talk about new year day today is new year day in many states tamil puttandu vishu in bengal and in other northeastern states and last week we had ugadi so about these new year day in different states of bharat sai is going to give a presentation at first okay amma One minute, Amma, I have to share the screen. Um, <coughs> New Year in different states of India. Uh, so uh, now I'll be telling the different names of New Year in different states. Navare, Baishaki, Baishaki, pohela bausha baushak bihu chairoba chairao raoba sheetal chaitra pratipada gudipadva gudipadva ugadi vishu and putandu history of new year unity and diversity is the essence of our nation india even while our fundamental culture is the same there are differences in how we celebrate festivals depending on a number of factors although january 1st is officially recognized recognized as new year's day many uh, many days are observed as new year's day throughout the year in various parts of india whether the solar or lunar uh, calendars is being followed determines the observance the the 365 day orbit of the earth uh, around the sun serves as the best foundation for a solar calendar the solar calendar typically consists for 12 months each with 30 or 31 days lunar calendars are based on the moon's orbit around the earth uh, as supposed to lunar solar calendars a lunar calendar has 12 months each with 30 uh, each with 30 or 9 days uh, as a result each lunar month begins with a little early in the match in the matching solar month as the year progresses regarding the solar calendar it typically consists of 354 days let's examine the various names given to the new year in various indian states according to the indian calendar chaitra sukladi is the first month of the year and st- and the start of the harvest season the hindu calendar begins with the new moon in march or april ugadi in karnataka telangana and andhra pradesh ugadi or ugadi is the new year celebration of andhra pradesh telangana and karnataka it is observed in these regions on the first day of the hindu luni solar calendar month of chaitra traditional she- uh, sweets and pachadi which is a sweet syrup made with raw mangoes and neem leaves are served the are served with the ugadi meal ugadi is the festival of new beginnings so people buy new clothes and eat lots of good food with friends and family how is ugadi celebrated actually the festivities start a week before ugadi day individuals begin organizing and beautifying their residences 
Rangoli pattern in a variety of colors are down most house doors since it is thought that the coming year will be just as vibrant and colorful as the Rangoli patterns. Most, most people get up before the dawn, take, take their oily bath and change into the new clothes. Re shops, residences and temples all have mango leaves uh, put at their doors. Since Yugadi seem as a fortune day to start with anything new, with anything new, uh, such as new business endeavors, and as well as the opening of stores and malls are frequent on this day. To com to commemorate to uh, commemorate this day, special treats are made, such as pachadi, a chutney like dish made by combining six distinct flavors. Neil blossom, chilli powder, tamarind, mango, jaggery and salt are combined to produce it. Each component uh, represents a different aspect of life. The, major, the majority of homes like uh, uh, Pahardi are traditional dish. In addition to Pakdi, other food other foods are also created, particularly in the state of Karnataka, Honige and uh, pul, uh, pulio, Puliogore. In uh, listening to the pan, Panchanga or the progress of the upcoming year as given by priest, astrologers or elderly family members, is another significant uh, significant part of the celebration. Apart from this, state to state organization organize cultural e events. It's also typical for family members and relatives to exchange gifts with one another. Ugadi represents moving uh, a moving forward from the past and welcoming the start of a new stage in life. People look forward to Ugadi as a joyful event and as a sign of prosperity, happiness, and harmony. Now, I'll be telling you how, uh, what are the names of different uh, Ugadi of different states of India and how are they celebrated. Gudi Padva in Maharashtra. Gudi Padva is the first day of the Chaitra month and marked as the new year in Maharashtra. A Gudi, a beautiful arrangement of silk sari or cloth tied to a stick with a lota on the top and then decorated with sweets, garlands made of neem and mango. On the day symbolizes the victory of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj over his enemies, uh, Shali Vahans. Uh, Victory over the Sakas. Baishaki in Punjab. Baishaki is the biggest harvest festival celebrated across the entire North India. Baishaki holds a special place in the land of five rivers. Punjab co uh, commemorating the first day of the Vaisak month. Uh, the Sikh community of Punjab also celebrates this day as the formation of Sikh Kalsa. It is uh, celebrated mainly at the birthplace of Skalsa and the Golden Temple in um, and the Golden Temple in Amritsar. Vishu in Kerala, Vishu festival marks the beginning of harvest festival in the bountiful land of Kerala. It is a festival of uh, full of lights and fireworks. The day starts with an arrangement. Uh, of harvest fruits, vegetables and seasonal flowers in front of a mirror. This arrangement is called as the Vishukani. On this day, devotees also visit the Sabrimala Ayyappan Temple and uh, Guru Bayur Krishna Temple for prayers. Navre Kash in Kashmir uh, Navre in Kashmir Navre or Kashmiri New Year is the celebration on the first day of Kashmiri New Year by Kashmir Hindus by Kashmiri Hindus with a large Kashmiri Hindu community being the Kashmiri Pandits. Kashmiri Pandits dedicate Navre, the festival to the goddess Sharika and pay homage to, uh, to her during their festival. Putando in Tamil Nadu Putandu, also known as Tamil New Year, is the first day uh, of the year on Tamil calendar and traditionally celebrated as a uh, festival by Tamil, pe Tamil people across the world. 
the festival date is set with the solar cycle of the solar hindu calendar which is the first uh, day of the tamil month chithirai chithirai bo uh, bohag bihu in northeastern states also known as rangoli rangali bihu bohag bihu also falls on the day of baishakhi and putandu in assam celebrating the new harvest with lots of sweets shared among among the family and friends with the exchange of more gifts bohag bihu is celebrated for 3 days straight with many different traditions bihu dance is a form of celebration for the people thank you thank you amma did i say everything in me okay asai uh, you presented very well covering the new year celebration in so many states that is the greatness of our bharat you see so much of diversity we have our culture is same everywhere mostly it is connected with harvest family bonding prayer and but we have so much of variety in the way we celebrate the new year and you know you were talking about that pachadi which is prepared for ugadi having different flavors and the particular combination is neem leaves and jaggery neem leaves are so bitter and jaggery is sweet they are combined both offered as naivedyam to bhagwan and it is consumed you know it has got a significance what why are why are we combining a bitter neem leaf along with sweet jaggery because in life also we face both happy and sad situations favorable and unfavorable situations so we should be able to accept both with that prasada buddhi that is why this particular dish we all consume on the new year day and the uh, important item of uh, especially in southern states for new year day celebration is that vishukani and uh, vishukani means auspicious items like rice dal first first mirror is kept in front of the pictures of god in the puja room rice dal all vegetables fruit flowers coins currency notes gold silver everything is kept there and early in the morning this will be the first thing that people will see in the morning in the mirror and all these auspicious items by seeing like this the common belief is it will bring in fortune and prosperity for the whole year that is called vishukani also okay now another festival is around the corner you know which festival is coming this week this week which festival is coming sri ramana navami ramana navami ramana so okay now we will have some talk on rojan ah before that there is one um, uh, concentration exercise for you i will be singing a bhajan you have to count how many ramas come in that bhajan how many times i say rama in that bhajan listen carefully and count ramas okay be attentive just to catch your attention rama nama tarakam sada bajo re 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 rama 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 kodand rama ram 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 kalyan ram 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 patta bi ram ram naam tarakam sada bajo re who counted amma should i count tanisha yes yes i of 18 i got 17 Amma, Amma, I also got eighteen. You all got eighteen, and how many of you got seventeen? Seventeen. Number. Number. Okay. As per my count, it was seventeen. Seventeen is the correct answer. Who got it? 
Um, okay, call. anyway, it was just a concentration like exercise. You got to maintain. Yeah, many of them. Oh, okay, okay, good. Good, good concentration. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, uh, so since Ram Navmi is uh, coming in the next week, so uh, we are going to today talk about uh, a very famous, great poet who was also a very staunch devotee of uh, Lord Rama. Okay. Know about him? Uh, we are going to talk about uh, Sant Tulsi Das. Okay, he is also known as the Goswami Tulsi Das. Uh, he is one of the greatest uh, poets, and he he was a staunch devotee, very very devoted, uh, uh, you know, the saint uh, to Lord Rama. He, so when was he born? He was born in the year fifteen eleven. He is known to be born in the year fifteen level eleven uh, in the uh, small town of Soron uh, in present day Uttar Pradesh, uh, in the you know the Ganges uh, in the uh, shores of uh, Ganges. So most of his life he spent. Uh, in the uh, towns of uh, Varanasi and Ayodhya, there is also a ghat in uh, Varanasi known as Tulsi Ghat after his name. He uh, he is known to have written uh, the uh, Ram Chamanas and read it out to Lord Shiva and Parvati in this uh, uh, location. Okay, and in, in, there are so many miraculous happenings in his life. You know, ever since his birth, okay, as a baby, the first uh, word that came out of his mouth is said to have been. Rama, so he was also known as Ram Bola, and uh, his guru was Narahari Das. He was the one who taught him and narrated the Ramayana uh, to him. His uh, son Tulsi Das is actually known as the is also known to be the avatar of Valmiki himself. Uh, okay, and uh, many there are many literary works that he has done. Uh, very famous ones. Or Hanuman Chalisa. Do you all know Hanuman Chalisa? I'm sure many of you know. Who you knows sing. Hanuman Chalisa? So Virat knows. <laughs> so Hanuman Chalisa was written by Tan Sant. He was very Am famous and well known. Uh, very good. <clears throat> very good. And so uh, this uh, Ram Charit Man. This Ram Charit Man. This is one of his uh, greatest literary works that he is known for. This, this uh, in which language uh, do you think was Ram Charitma? Ram Charitma Manas is nothing but a, a telling of uh, Rama in a uh, in a different language. Uh, do you know which language uh, it was uh, written? Anyone know? Huh? We Vaishnavi. We Vaishnavi. Is it Avadi? Very, Very good. good. Avadi. Yes. Very good. It was written in Avadi. Okay, and Ramayana has been written in many languages by different uh, people, and it also Ramayana has a lot of different versions across the world. Okay, so as a homework, what you will do, you will find out the names of uh, different versions of Ramayana in different languages in different countries. Uh, what is uh, Ramayana known as? Okay. So these were some basic facts about uh, Sant Tulsi Das, but he, he in his own writings and also from writings from other people about his life, they've always celebrated on many you know miraculous events that have happened around him. You know he was such a devoted uh, you know person, he was uh, such a staunch devotee that he had the blessing of you know uh, viewing, uh, seeing uh, Lord Rama uh, you know in person. And in one one such uh, incident is known that you know uh, once uh, there were you know Sant Tulsi Das was in in prayers he was in his home he was praying to Rama writing all poems and everything and uh, there were some thieves who tried to enter uh, Sant Tulsi Das house okay and uh, when they were trying to attack you know they get into the house break into the house they saw you know two two figures one. One fair-skinned and one dark-skinned, uh, you know, warrior, warrior-like people moving, you know, across, you know, guarding the house. Okay, so the thieves thought, okay, they are here now. Okay, I, why will a saint, a normal uh, saint, have guards guarding his house? So they went back. They again tried to come back, but whenever they came, they could see these warriors, you know, uh, standing and guarding the house. They were th they, they were frightened and they ran away. Okay, and later when Saint Tulsi Das got to know. Then he could really he could he could understand that who it was right it was Lord Rama and Lakshmana being themselves in person uh, 
protecting guarding him there is a similar such similar story also uh, happened uh, uh, you know you, you have heard of tyagaraja tyagaraja is a great uh, uh, musician he was also a great devotee of lord rama he used to write, write uh, songs on lord rama he also had a, a, a experienced a similar episode okay so uh, sant tulasi das lives were full of such miraculous events you know and he he once brought a dead man to life you know so such such uh, such miraculous events kept on happening and hearing all this one thought happened uh, in fatehpur sikri uh, emperor akbar emperor akbar heard of this uh, you know all these miraculous happenings and this power of sant tulasi das to people so he he called upon he wanted him to be part of his darbar his royal poet he wanted him to be the royal poet and write songs about uh, his kingdom and so he called called uh, sant tulasi das to his uh, you know darbar uh, then you know sant tulasi das he de- he declined he said i don't know of any miracles the only thing that i think of all the time is lord rama and i write poems only on lord rama's name and so he declined to Uh, visit the emperor he didn't go on the emperor's call so this infuriated the uh, emperor so akbar immediately caught hold of him and put him in the jail and in the jail uh, sant tulasi das goswami tulasi das is known to have written this famous and the powerful hanuman chalisa which we all recite today and he wrote the hanuman chalisa praying to you know uh, lord ram and uh, hanuman and you know what happened uh you know this the jail was attacked by numerous number of you know uh, 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 monkeys you know the, all the monkeys came started creating menace and ruckus uh, in the jail and uh, there was no way but akbar then understood you know the power of uh, sant tulasi das he immediately released him and uh, he went back from fatehpur sikri to delhi is what uh, we all know so such is the devotion Uh, that we know of, uh, you know, that we have heard of Sant Tulasi Das and his famous works, right? There's a few other poems that he has written. Uh, so, so this is just an example of how Lord Rama or God, you know, protects uh, his uh, devotees who st- staunchly and firmly believe in him. Okay, so this was uh, uh, about one one of the greatest saints that I wanted you all to know. on the you know uh, eve or occasion of uh, ram navmi so as a homework that i am giving you uh, please come back or you can also post it on the group the different versions and names of ramayana in different languages who wrote all these things you find out and then post it okay so in every language there is a ramayana mainly valmiki wrote in sanskrit after that in tamil telugu kannada malayalam every language so find out Who all wrote in which language? Ramayana. That is the homework for you. See, okay. Then uh, the remaining time, one small budget and have the PPT. So you have to listen carefully. So volunteer who will first offer to repeat the budget which I am going to start. Virat. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, we have only about seven minutes. Two or three we can sing today. Others I will make you sing next week. Okay. Govinda Rama, Jay Jay Gopal Rama. Govinda Rama, Jay Jay Gopal Rama. Virat. Govinda Rama, Jay Jay Gopal Rama. Govinda Rama. I will repeat the first part. Govinda Rama. Say. Govinda Rama. Jai Jai Gopal Rama. Jai Jai Gopal Rama. Jai Jai Rama. But you have to sing carefully. Gopal Rama. <coughs> sing. Why say? Audio is not audio clear. is not clear. <clears throat> Try again, Virat. Govinda Rama, Jai Jai Gopal Rama. Govinda Rama. Okay, make it simple. Jai Jai Gopal Rama. Okay, Sai, you sing that first line. Sai. 
गोविंद रमा जय जय गोपाल रमा गोविंद रामा जय जय गोपाल रामा वेरी गुड खुशी कैन यू सिंग बिकॉज यू विल नॉट बी देयर आफ्टर वर्स गोविंद रामा जय जय गोपाल रामा गोविंद अम्मा कैन यू रिपीट वंस गोविंद रामा गोविंद रामा जय जय गोपाल रामा जय जय गोपाल रामा वेदांत स्विच ऑन योर वीडियो एंड सिंग वेदांत वेदांत आर यू देयर ओके इन द मीन टाइम वैष्णवी वैष्णवी सिस्टर्स गोविंद रामा जय जय गोपाल रामा माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा विराट अगेन सेकेंड लाइन विराट माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा सिंग स्लोली माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा वेरी गुड साई माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा अनम्यूट साई अनम्यूट माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा यस केशव रामा केशव रामा रिपीट साई केशव रामा वैष्णवी सिस्टर्स माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा माधव रामा जय जय केशव All of you sing. Kushi, Madhava Rama, Jai Jai Keshava Rama. Madhava Rama, Keshava Rama. Jai Jai. Madhava Rama, Jai Jai Keshava Rama. Madhava Rama, Jai Jai Keshava Rama. Now both the lines together. Who is ready to sing? गोविंद रामा जय जय गोपाल रामा माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा वी वैष्णवी गोविंद रामा जय जय गोपाल रामा गोविंद रामा माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा विश्रुता गोविंद रामा जय जय गोपाल रामा गोविंद रामा जय जय गोपाल रामा माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा वेदांत गोविंद रामा जय जय के गोपाल रामा रामा जय जय गोपाल रामा माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा माधव रामा जय जय केशव रामा ओके टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद दीज टू लाइंस नेक्स्ट टू लाइंस आई विल टीच नेक्स्ट वीक ओके आई थिंक वी कैन डू द क्लोजिंग लाइंस नाउ लक्ष्मी लक्ष्मी मामे so children all of you practice whatever you have learned today okay and let us get ready for the annual day event hmm? let us close down now <clears throat> om
असतो मा सदगमय तमसो मा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृत गमय ओ शांति शांति शांति